Uh, it's very easy to uh, muck up the ecosystem there and lose not only the waterway itself, but of course the uh, animals that live there, which includes our next guest. Probably one of the most spectacular birds to be found around Sydney Harbour, the white-bellied sea eagle. Now, what we're going to do is once again demonstrate uh, the hunting technique of this bird. Now, normally in the wild, a white-bellied sea eagle will find a high perch overlooking a body of water. Now, it could be a body as large as Sydney Harbour, or maybe a stream or river coming in off the ocean. As long as it's got fish, it makes a potential hunting ground. And we have our volunteer fish, Wanda, here, ready and waiting. Minka will be appearing up the back any moment now. And I will ask that everyone does take their seats and doesn't move around too much. Uh, this bird was a wild bird and can be a little bit frightened of people she doesn't know. So especially when she comes into land, if you can just oh keep God. still, we'll get a nice She's close look at her. Now you can see her up there. She's spotted Wanda. She's coming down from the side, plucks Wanda from the water and takes her to a nearby perch to eat. Well done, Minka. Now, of course, it's pretty easy with a um, plastic fish. They're very easy to catch, in fact. They don't wriggle around too much or try to swim away. Minka wouldn't be successful out there in the wild with a real live wriggling fish. And that's because there is a bit of a sad story behind Minka. She was actually found hanging upside down from a tree in a rabbit trap. Oh. Now some of us would like to think that it was an accident her getting there, but in actual fact that trap was deliberately set for her. Someone mistakenly considered her a threat, maybe to uh, their livestock or family pets. Of course that's not true. But as a result, Minka is missing two toes. They had to be amputated after she was rescued. And it's because of those missing two toes, she will not be a successful hunter. She will miss many of those real live wriggling fish. And if released to the wild, Minka would probably starve to death within a week or so. So she's very lucky that she's made her way here to the show today, where not only is she well looked after, she gets to fly every day, but most importantly, reach hundreds of people every day and help to promote awareness of these birds so that we can look after them better in the future. Thank you, Minka, and thank you, Matthew.